NBC4 News at 11 starts now. It could be your living room, your backyard, your garage. What you need to know if someone says your place ought to be in pictures. I'm Robert Kovacic, home movies that make you money. Coming up. This is going to be interesting. Since Southern California is, after all, the movie capital of the world, isn't it about time that you put your home or property to work? Just like actors, your house, if it has the right look, it could be in commercials or the movies, and they pay. They pay very well. Cash in on your crib. It's our exclusive report, and Robert Kavasic joins us now to show us how it works. Robert? Chuck, from a couple hundred dollars a day just to shoot the exterior to a couple of thousand a day, depending on the difficulty of shooting inside. When the cameras roll, it could be a bankroll, and just about anyone can be living in a star property. They never had pizza delivered before, never stayed in a hotel or gone to an amusement park. The Castillo family never even had a checking account until Chris Fuentes knocked on their door. We asked them to do is to come in, take them all out of their house, take all of their furniture away to an undisclosed location and set fire to their apartment. And they said yes. Fuentes is a location manager for Showtime's hit Dexter. He was scouting for an apartment in Hollywood that could stand in for Miami Beach. I think we even had some flamingos out here. With a bedroom that could burn. With special effects, of course, and for this family, special perks. That two-week shoot in their two-bedroom apartment meant moving all seven Castillos to an all-expenses-paid hotel. And for Mom Ilsa, who is a hotel housekeeper, money in the bank. It was something that she never knew that was going to happen to her in her life. The city of Los Angeles is hoping that it happens even more. Let's give Hollywood a big hand. Recently, the city designated a special day to the artist, filmed entirely on location in L.A. Now, even if you don't reside in a Hancock Park mansion like this one, used as the exterior of the silent film star's home, don't worry, it doesn't matter. No homeowner should say they'd never shoot in my home. You'd be surprised what production companies want. Teacher Sandra Ponce has a bungalow that's earned her a small bundle with little hassle. Everything's boxed up and labeled. Her advice before the cameras roll? Make sure you put away what you don't want to be touched. You hear that old story, well, they left it better than when they arrived. That's very true. Yeah. And remember... You have to be willing to let people into your home uh, that you don't know. Nicole Kuklak Waldman's home has been in commercials with... Pigs. You grow a scraggly beard. Stray animals and even... He loves his car. Que romantico. Charo. It's fun to be sitting, you know, at a friend's house and a commercial comes on and being like, that's my house. And she doesn't wait for a lucky knock on the door. Nicole is registered with the location company and now getting ready for yet another shoot. When it comes to talking about how much she's pocketed... I would prefer not to. But Nicole will reveal the number one reason every production filmed here on her Van Nuys Street that could substitute for Cape Cod has been successful. The neighbors really have to be on board because if they're not, it's, it's you know, you're just upsetting the people you live with and that's no good. Whether it's a bungalow or mansion, single-family home or small apartment. When this is over. When it's a wrap, the measure of success should be easy to translate. <laughs> she says that it was a great experience. She wishes that it could happen again. Well, in Hollywood, there's always the chance for a sequel. Okay, here's your checklist. Make sure that location manager is reputable. Make sure you convey your restrictions. For instance, if a room is off limits, put it in your contract. And Film LA says, remember, the entire process goes most smoothly when you and the production company representative reach out to all of your neighbors. Okay, action. I'm Robert Kivasik. The point about the neighbors is very well taken because they roll in with an army of trucks. A lot of trucks, a even lot for a of small people. shoot. Yep, yep, yep. All right, Fritz is back right now.